Hey there, and thanks for joining me at the Financial Spotlight. I'm Chantrell, and I'm here to give you work from home jobs that you can do from the comfort of your home with no phone involved. So I have been recently asked multiple times by a few of my subscribers and people in the group about jobs that people that moms can do from home um, with their children, young children. Um, and I just wanted to talk about Apen for a minute. So I currently work for them and I have been for about three years now, I think. And, um, and when you're working with them, you're not necessarily their employee per se, but you're a contractor. So what that means is that they pay you, um, with APEN, they pay you directly through a PayPal account. Um, they <clears throat> do not take out any taxes. The, this particular company pays you once a month. Your hourly or your pay is based on the project and it's also based on your locality. So if you live in California, your pay is going to be different from if you lived in Texas and you would just need to um, let them know and they'll uh, pay you accordingly. The thing with APEN though is that projects are not promised. So just because you've applied and you're an employee for them or, you know, you're working with them or whatever, and you, and they say they want to uh, put you as one of the members of their, uh, you know, um, pool, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to be on a project. But, and then also what's not, um, in stone is the time frame of projects. So what I mean by that is there might be a project. Um, so let's, you know, it, let's go through what they're talking about on their website. So it, it wants you to go here to apply and you would click on apply now and you would definitely provide your information. So it will be your name, address. Let me click on apply so you can see what it wants. Oh, wait. Hmm, that's not working. That's surprising. Well, I'll find the link to where it works for you to apply. But anyway, you would scroll down and these are flexible work opportunities. And when you go down a little bit further, <clears throat> you can see what type of positions they're offering. So they offer... Jobs like search media evaluation, social media evaluation, translation services, transcription services, survey and data collection, linguistic specialists, um, lexicon annotation, speech evaluation, image annotation, video annotation, and sensor data annotation. So basically those last three are if you're looking at videos or looking at pictures and things of that nature, then you would type in sometimes what those pictures represent. Um, there is speech evaluation where you would decide whether the speech is, um, you can understand it or not. There's translation and transcription services. And then I usually do search media or, or social media evaluation. So search media is when um, a person is searching for something online and there is a um, response. When you look at it as the evaluator, you're going to see if this is something that would help someone if they searched it. Was this the answer? That would help them if they search it. With social media evaluation, you're looking at social media and sometimes deciding if this is something that is an advertisement or um, things of that nature. So it's a pretty good um, thing to do, especially if you are like, your, like a parent and you can't... Um, 
go into an office or that, or you'd be interested in just working with people. I mean, I'm sorry, working with yourself, um, with projects where you're just, um, not necessarily interacting with people. Um, some of the requirements are that you are at least 18 years of age. You have good web research skills and analytical abilities. Also, you need to have, um, the good connection to the internet service, and a personal computer. Sometimes they need you to also have a cell phone, or a lot of times they need you to have a cell phone so you can do some of the other positions and um, up-to-date antivirus and anti-spyware software. Um, And so here they're asking questions, answering some questions. An APEN contributor is an independent contractor who contracts with them to do a variety of projects. How do I earn the money? So like I said, it's every month. Sometimes it's hours, sometimes it's per project, per item, and then you're paid monthly. Um, it answers it there. You're paid monthly through PayPal or Payoneer. Um, will it cost me anything to become a contributor? No, you do not pay to be a part of their projects at all. What you do have to pay for, of course, is your monthly internet service. And you have to pay for your own computer, your own phone, and things of that nature. But you will not pay to be a part of this project. Now, what you will have to do is take tests. Each project has um well most of the projects have tests that you have to take and you have a certain percentage that you have to pass the tests in order to be a part of that project so um some of the tests are very easy and um so see it says you do not have to take qualifications qualification exam to sign up as a contributor we encourage you to create an account and browse through the many different projects we have available some projects do require you to take a qualification exam but there are many that don't so like i was saying a lot of the the jobs want your projects rather want you to take a like qualifications test when you're taking that qualifications test some of them are really simple like do you live in the United States? Yes. Do you have internet service? Yes. And then you're on the project. Other projects could be 40 questions long, but they give you the information to read on the project to make sure that you can answer those questions. So they just want you to be familiar with the project and be aware of what's going on with the project before they put you on the project. So Working for them is pretty good. Like I said, you are an independent contractor. That means that at the end of the year at tax time, you're going to get a 1099 in the mail. When you get that 1099, that is going to have all of your income in it, on it, like just like a W-2, but there's no taxes taken out. So of course, you're going to have to do your own taxes. And as an independent contractor, you're considered a a employee, I mean, a, a Sorry, you're considered self-employed. When you're considered self-employed, that means on your taxes, you're going to have to file a Schedule C, which is for um, self-employment or for people that own their own company. So those are things that you need to think about when you're doing this position because everybody doesn't necessarily know how to do that. Um, And... um, a lot of times when you're doing the projects, you should be aware of that. Um, so say you're getting paid $1,800 a month because of the projects that you're doing. Well, you will need to be aware of that, okay, at the end of the year or next year, I'm going to make sure, I'm going to have to make sure that enough taxes have been, that I have saved up enough taxes or whatever um, for me to be able to either pay taxes on this money that I've gotten or um, just to make sure that you have it saved up. Because like I said before, you are reporting as self-employed because you are a 1099 employee or a contractor. So um, hopefully this answers some of your questions about a company that will work with you as a stay-at-home mom with a child that you might not be really able to leave or the child needs you and then and maybe while they're asleep, you can do this. Um, it is It helped me out a lot in the time or it helps me out a lot 
um, in the time that I worked for them. Um, and like I said, I'm still um, employed or a contractor. I'm on a contract, but I haven't really done much work with them lately because I just um, started back doing um, some other projects. So what you can do is just go ahead and apply and hopefully, um, I don't know why I, why this link is not going to the jobs because that's what you need to do to apply. So let's go back up here and see what's going on with this link though, real quick. Yeah, this is crazy. Yeah, it's not saying it's saying it's not found. Well, let's look at another way. So let's see if that works. Uh, find the job you love. Even home. Join our global community. Apply now. Hmm. Huh. That's weird. Maybe their site is down right now. Maybe their site is down right now. So I will definitely put the link to what I have access to in the description box, but this is going to that. I don't understand what's going on. So anyway, um, I want to make sure that I find a link that works and put it in the description box so that you can um, click on it to apply. But yes, Aiken is a great company to work with. And if you are willing to be patient or if you're willing to, um, you know, apply for more project than one at a time, because that's what will make you successful. If you can apply for more than pro one, if you apply for about five or six projects, you could be waiting for one project to come up while you're doing another project. Um, so you're not always going to be, um, working a project just right after you apply for it. So that's the thing. And once you get a hang of it and you want to get into a rhythm, then you will understand the, um, the ape and lifestyle, but you have to get accustomed to it in order to, um, work with it. It's not for everybody. Definitely not for everyone, but if you're willing to do it, be patient and do the work and be a part of it, it will be beneficial for you and, and you will be successful, especially if you do not want to go into a brick and mortar, you do not want to work a regular nine to five and you want to do this job or do this work and get paid while you're, you know, at home taking care of your child um, on your own time. So this is something to look into. Again, I will put a link that is working in the description box for you. Thank you for joining me. If you have any questions, make sure you put those in the comment section. I will definitely answer them. If I don't know the answer, I will research it and get you the answer. Have a great one. And thanks for joining the Financial Spotlight. Bye.